Saddam would have had to been sitting in Versailles signing a peace agreement in order to stay in power, the conditions of which would have been the equivalent of the UN resolutions. Fortunately, we as a world have moved beyond that to an international body that has great respect. And so that fora was the United Nations. If we go to war with our partners to disarm Saddam, it will be to enforce the UN resolutions, which I would argue, in terms of international law, are the equivalent of a peace agreement. This is not, is not preemption. There's nothing preemptive about it. If we picked, if you turned on now and the television showed aircraft striking Baghdad, it would not be a preemptive attack. There's nothing preemptive about it. It's an enforcement. One of the problems I've found as I've spoken in the last week or so with world leaders, heads of state, foreign ministers, and their counterparts, and I had the opportunity to do that at extensively for five days in Davos or four days in Davos, one of the things that confuses and allows those who don't want to step up to the ball and meet their obligation is when some in the administration have said, we have a new doctrine of preemption. And so it allows those who want to drag their feet in doing what they know must be done to say, oh, we're not going to be involved in preemption. That's a new doctrine that changes the Treaty of Westphalia of, I think, 18, 1648 or whatever the year was. That's, you know, we get into all of that. It obfuscates the central point. Is this a bad guy? who's violated the terms of an agreement he made to do away with weapons and the capacity to do great harm to his people, the region, and, and possibly the United States of America? The answer is yes, this is a bad guy. This is the guy who's violated the terms of a peace agreement. This is the guy who continues to do it. This guy has a record of demonstrating he will use those weapons. And there is an emerging pattern that convenience may throw him into the arms of who our most central and most serious enemy is now, non-state actor called Al-Qaeda. So it must be dealt with. He must be dealt with.